Hey everyone, this is Jenny from Homestead Corner, and today I have got this week's preps from Walmart. This week I went into Walmart, and I have to say it was the best stocked I have seen it in a very long time. Um, over the loudspeaker, they had announced that they had shortened the hours a little bit, reduced them to help them clean and stock shelves. So apparently that is helping a little bit, which is wonderful because it was looking pr quite frightening in there for a while. And But it did look a lot better today. The prices are increasing, but they had a lot more stock than they have been having the only section i really noticed that was really struggling is there was like no beans and no lentils or anything like that there was a couple in the goya section but where the other stuff is there was nothing but they had quite a bit of rice and lots of canned meats which i thought was great and the canned goods actually looked the vegetables looked a lot better than they have in a while so that was nice to see. I don't know that it's going to stick around like this. So definitely, if you see it, grab it. And anything that you have been missing, um, definitely look for that and see if you can find it to get it into your stockpile because it looks like they're really trying to get these shelves filled up. And I did see more than usual, more than I've seen in a while. So it was really nice to see that. So one thing that I haven't seen in a really long time is the 20 pound bags of the Rico long grain rice. Eight, still $8.98, super good deal for 20 pounds of rice. They have been having the medium grain rice, but not the long grain. So I was happy to grab one of these and to add to what we have. We do quite a bit of rice dishes because it's inexpensive and it really helps stretch the meal out. And the next thing that I found that I have not seen in a super long time, and one of my friends did give me a tip on this this morning, um, she sent me a text message and she's like, oh my God, they got lids. So I was headed there anyway, but I would, and I definitely would have found them because I check every single time I go in the store, but they had regular mouth lids, still no wide mouth lids. And they did have a few cases of jars, maybe eight or 10 cases, which is more than they've had in a while. So I did grab six of the packs of regular lids because, you know, if you can't find them, it makes it a lot more difficult to can. I do save my old lids and in a pinch, I will reuse lids. You know, if you can't find them, you can't find them. But and I try to make sure I don't bend the lids up when I get them off. As long as they are in still in good condition, I just, after I wash them and clean them and everything, I will simmer them and get that little rubber gummy again. So it does work. They don't recommend it, but you know, in a pinch you do what you gotta do and it works. So I definitely have done that before and I would do it again. And I have not seen this in a while either, is the Lipton Extra Noodle Soup. My daughters and my husband love this. So I grabbed a couple boxes of these just to add to what we have. And we did pick up some of the regular noodle soup uh, at BJ's a while ago. So we still had some in our pantry. And then, let's see, what else is in here? I didn't get a huge amount of stuff. The lids, you know, there's like $12, $13 worth of lids here and nine bucks for the rice. And, you know, it adds up. I think it was $49 and change for everything. So not a tiny haul, but not huge either. And uh, then I grabbed a pack of this real bacon pieces for the pantry. I love having these in the pantry because if you are going to whip up a quick soup or something like that and you don't have time to thaw out a couple pieces of bacon or I love the flavor of bacon in a lot of our soups. So I'll take like half a package and dump it in and start with that. Um, start my soup with it because it really gives that good extra flavor. And we like it. And they had um, 
dried beef. So I grabbed a couple more of these. These are great just for snacking on to make little roll ups to do all kinds of stuff. You can cut it up and make chip beef, cream chip beef, tons of things you can do with those. And there it ours was there's 2.5 ounces in these jars and they were about 250 a jar. So it's a pretty good deal though. You could feed we feed a whole family if we make chip beef with it. So a whole family of six with one jar. So that's not too bad. And then I grabbed a couple of brown gravies because my store has been low on the brown gravies. They've been getting the chicken in, but they only had a couple of jars today, a couple cans. And one I passed on, there was three of them. I'm going to pass on one because it had a huge dent in the side and I just didn't want to deal with it. So, And I don't use brown gravy as much as the chicken gravy, so I figured these would at least help add to what we have. And then the next thing I found, they had the four packs of tuna, the Walmart tuna. We like it. It works really good for salads, sandwiches, whatever. And they are really inexpensive. I used to always buy Starkiss, and they are over a dollar a can. And you can get all four of these cans for $2.84. So it's definitely a super good deal. Let's see. And then I found the Armor corned beef hash. This is my favorite corned beef hash. So I grabbed a couple more of those to add to the pantry. And then last, but certainly not least, I grabbed two of the cans of roast beef, the Great Value brand. These are really inexpensive. The, um, these are like the shredded beef. If they had the beef chunks, but the beef chunks were $4.72 for the same size can. Uh, this is 12 ounce cans. And this was only $2.72. So $2 cheaper for it to be uh, shredded instead of chunks. So I definitely, I don't care if it's shredded or chunks. It still tastes the same. So these are great soup starters. Great to throw in rice. Great for so many different meals. Casseroles. Um, fried rice, they're great for that. That way you've got a little bit of meat in there. You can throw an egg in. There's just all kinds of things you can do with it. So I wanted to add a couple more of those. But the meat section, the canned meat was really, really full. The prices are climbing. And I noticed that everything had gone up at least 50 cents a can. Um right around 50 cents most all of them some of them 75 cents a can depending on what it is i noticed the deviled ham four packs i normally buy those and they're normally like 487 and today they were 672 so that's almost a two dollar jump on a little four pack of the deviled ham so definitely the prices are rising so grab what you can when you find it and check your stores. I mean, they had lids in today. They had 20-pound bags of rice. They had soup. They All kinds of stuff that they did, haven't had in a while. And the only, really, the only thing that looked really, you know, frightening and didn't really have much was the beans. I mean, they had a couple bags of bean soup, but they didn't have any bags of regular dried beans. They did have lots of canned beans though, so that is definitely another way to go if you like those, but they are quite a bit more expensive for what you get. And just do the best you can. Keep that pantry full. You know, it looks good today, but tomorrow is a different story. You don't know what's going to happen, and every day is a mystery when you go shopping. And that is it for today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.